They call me crazy cause I'm facing all my giants They try to scare me into thinking I can't fight it They tell me I should never even think of trying But that's just me, I'm gonna live out in defiance Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to Tofino day two. It's all foggy today, but that won't stop us from having fun. Today is surf day and we are pretty excited about that. But this morning, we started off with some breakfast. For today's breakfast, we went to Rhino Coffee House. And unfortunately, they only do takeouts at the moment, so we have to eat our breakfast here in the car. Well, this isn't really our breakfast. We bought a box of donuts just so we have something for snacks later on. Here you go. We got some coconut. This is a maple bacon right here. We got some triple chocolate down there. This is just a sprinkle, an apple fritter, and a Boston cream. But that's for later. And here's for our breakfast. I ordered the ham breakfast bagel. Look at that. So there's egg, there's ham, lettuce, and tomato in a classic bagel. Mmm. So good. It's a perfect breakfast sandwich. As you have your bagel, your eggs, and your ham, and lettuce, and tomato. It's very fresh. The bagel is crispy on the outside and soft in the inside. Well, I got the... They call this the Brona. Ah, so I think it's pretty much the same thing with sausage, egg, lettuce, and tomato. But instead of a bagel, it's inside of a donut. It's a pretty good sausage and also the veggies are fresh and plus the donut makes it even better it has a little bit of sweetness on it after having breakfast Nat and I decided to walk around Tofino little did we know Tofino has some beautiful docks oh my god look at this view can't get any more Tofino than this right mm -hmm. and I think those are the islands that we went kayaking yesterday one thing we did notice is Tofino doesn't seem to be a morning town, right? Yeah, it's so quiet and there's less crowd. That's probably why people call it a laid-back town. We can get used to this. One thing that we will suggest if you guys are to come here is to explore more on the local shops. That will give you more of a unique vibe when coming here to Tofino. I think it's time to head back to prepare for surfing. Oh no! <laughs> surfing time! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think I have the most professional surfing attire here. It's the sea turtles. Makes the difference. So I don't think we've told you guys what surf school we're gonna go with today. We are gonna go with Tofino Surf Adventures. They're one of the smaller surf schools here in Tofino and they gave us a pretty good deal of about $80 per person for a beginner session of two and a half hours. Including the gears and stuff. Okay, let's go. Someone is struggling putting on a wetsuit. <laughs> we haven't started yet. <laughs> We're just driving to the beach now, uh, following this uh, this van. We are now wearing our wetsuits and I feel kind of wet. I feel very wet inside. And sandy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of look like a bunch of penguins right now. <laughs> All of our surfboards are on that vehicle in front of us.
As we got our surfboards, Max and I had to carry them to the beach, where we'll be learning our first surfing lesson. Hey yo! Chesterman Beach! Excited? I don't feel very confident right now. <laughs> I've done surfing way back in the Philippines, but it was a couple of years ago. I don't think I'm doing this right. I'm not a surf guy. <laughs> I'm not a surf person. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. A lot happened. <laughs> we have a, a bit of a story to tell you guys. So about 20 minutes before the two and a half hour ends, I was going for a wave and I have the action cam on my head. And this wave was pretty big and I took a nose dive. When I was trying to get out of the water, the guy just looked at me and said, Where's your GoPro? And you guys can imagine the look on my face. I was like, all of that footage is now gone into the ocean. It took us a good 10 to 15 minutes looking for the action cam. Yeah, just sweeping around the area on where it fell. And luckily, I was like glimmering on the sand on the shallow waters. And I kind of saw like maybe like a black sock. And I took no chances and just grabbed it. When I pulled it, it was the action cam. And it just started screaming. I was like, <laughs> Felt really good to get all that footage back. One, that action cam was pretty expensive. And two, it has all our footages for the past few days. Plus the surfing. <laughs> yeah, all those footages and memories. I felt like I won the lottery on that one. Because what are the chances that you can find a GoPro that was lost in a wave in this massive beach? <sighs> what a day. So we're going to head back to our Airbnb to rinse off. And we'll chat with you guys in a bit. Max and I quickly showered and drove to Yukluet. And there, we found some friends. Just another day in Canada. Hey guys, we are back and we are all clean. We are also pretty tired from surfing. Yeah, but right now we are here in Yukluet because we wanted to drive around and see other places. There's a lot still that we haven't seen here in this place. A mere example is just this. We are right by the Wild Pacific Trail and I think we're just gonna cap off our night here. It looks like the waves are pretty calm right now but during winter people actually go here to do storm watching. This is actually our last night here at Tofino. Tomorrow we are going to travel to Victoria and we will be spending a couple of nights there. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys are new here we'd love to keep you around. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you have any suggestions for the upcoming vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, see you in the next vlog. And thanks for watching. Bye! I'm driving like this because I don't want the car seat to get wet. <laughs> I feel like you got my shirt on. What happened to your shirt? I don't know. <laughs> it looks so small. Like we switched.
Yeah. <laughs>